An offensive unlikely to bring immediate peace. The Sri Lankan military says it's captured the last patch of coastal territory under Tamil rebel control. These are the images of two army divisions that advanced from the north and south. There it is, right there, in a rapid push to squeeze out the Tamils. The leader of the Tamil Tigers is believed to be in the conflict zone, but other sources say he may have escaped. UNICEF spokesman James Elder has been updating us about the dire conditions in northern Sri Lanka. It's hard to think of a worse place for a child, for a civilian to be on the entire planet than on that strip of beach, being caught in, in indiscriminate fire, their horror only intensified because their living conditions are, of course, abysmal. I would say at the moment it's a chaotic situation. They really are caught in the crossfire. If you imagine that in a tiny space where your water reserves are, are depleted to a critical level, where you've basically had almost no food, where you've had no medicines, and now where you are trapped amid what is fierce fighting? This, this is, these, are, these are very, very, very tough, tough moments for these people and they have no choice really but to flee. However, as this happens, we know that civilians continue to be caught in the crossfire. It's why the United Nations has continually sought an end to this conflict that does not result in further loss of life for so many vulnerable people who have endured so much over the last weeks. The Sri Lankan government has barred journalists from entering the war zone. Even humanitarian organizations like Red Cross have been forced to flee. Nick Patton Walsh was expelled from the country last week. The journalists filed this piece from Bangkok on Friday using amateur video, as well as video from official sources shot from within the country. This is what passes for a victory parade. The Sri Lankan army now deep inside the no-fire zone. This shipwreck, a key Tamil Tiger position, and all this was enemy territory just a week ago. It's still a little volatile, but these grins today couldn't hide what it's been like on the receiving end of their weaponry. Gunfire begins this mobile phone footage, apparently showing mass graves on the other side of the lines. One of the doctors from a makeshift hospital in the no-fire zone spoke on the phone earlier today. In this area, more than 2,000 casualties there, but all casualties, all civilians are not in the hospital because of heavy fighting going on uh, near the hospital area. We are that the civilians also staying without any food, without any proper facilities. But yesterday, about 3,000 did manage to flee on boats across a lagoon that separates the no-fire zone from the mainland. These pictures from a military drone were released to show them clambering into army trucks. The army says the Tamil Tigers were shooting at them. The White House says the army's been shelling them. Either way, the Sri Lankan president said his advancing army is 48 hours away from freeing all the hostages. The Red Cross warned for too many people still trapped, that's too late. The humanitarian situation is a catastrophe at this moment. We have our own people on the spot, 20 national staff who cannot move, who cannot help, who cannot bring anything to the wounded because it's too dangerous themselves. These satellite images show the dramatic changes of the last few days. There was a huge migration of people and their shelters from this area at around the time heavy shelling began at the weekend. Civilians are now concentrated in these areas, leaving behind land pockmarked with craters, some analysts say, from the repeated shelling that's killed hundreds. The army says it's advanced from the north and the south and there are now only one and a half kilometers between their lines. The army rushing to finish a sophisticated enemy on these beaches. No one able to say how many civilians are still trapped or how many will die in the coming days and hours. As Nick reported, it's hard to predict future casualties, but the United Nations is talking about past figures and the numbers are staggering. It says 7,000 ethnic Tamil civilians were killed in less than four months. And health officials say an additional 1,000 people have died just this past week. Those deaths exceed this year's casualty tolls for the conflicts in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan and Gaza.
combined just to give you some perspective there. Now, Pakistan's